Hey everyone, welcome to this Inventor HSM Quick Tip. Today we're going to look at profiling on a lathe. We've already got a facing operation, so from our ribbon we'll select Profile. Then on our Tools tab, we'll go into our Tool Library, drill down to our Turning Tools, and we'll select a right-handed general turning tool. We'll select OK, then we'll go to our Geometry tab. From the front selection, we're going to hit the drop-down and look at the options. At this point, I'm going to use the model front, and I'm going to give it a positive 5 thousandths offset to allow my tooltip to run past. On the back side, I'm going to use the model back, and I'm going to select a negative uh, 1.25, or excuse me, 0.125 to allow my tool to go past the back side of my part as well. That way, when I go to part off, I've already turned it down to a nominal diameter. We're going to select rest machining since we already have a previous operation, and it'll continue right from that next operation. On our heights tab, we're going to select the inner radius and choose selection, and this will allow us to choose a point for our inner radius. I'm going to use a negative 0.01 to then offset from that inner radius point. Now on our Passes tab, we're going to leave on the Finishing Passes. We'll select the No Dragging to keep our tip from dragging across our material. We'll leave our Roughing Passes on so we can minimize the amount of material that we need for our Finishing Pass. On our Linking tab, we'll select Minimum Retraction. This will reduce the distance that our tool travels away from the part between each pass. Now we'll select OK. And let's look at what it looks like in our simulation. We'll click through our facing path, and then we'll play the profile. You'll see our tool come in and start to follow the outer contour. I'm going to make some adjustments to our simulation so that we can see what our part looks like on the inside. You'll notice this part has some flats on it for milling, and because in our setup we selected to use a spun profile, our toolpath respects the outer diameter and ignores the flats in this case. As I change the orientation of our part, you can see how our toolpath respects those diameters. I hope this tip helps you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and look for more tips to come.